So fantastic result for Wolves last night, a massive 2-1 win at Brentford, game in hand on all their relegation rivals bar Blackburn who drew 2-2 with Fulham last night. Yeah, great result for Wolves, they're 1-0 down with five minutes to go and then up pop Matt Toxy with an equaliser and three minutes later held Costa with a memorable winner in front of the away fans there. Um, you can see all the reaction to, to this uh, great win and much needed three points on Expression Star today, uh, including our player ratings of which they're certainly far higher than in recent weeks uh, and also our fan verdicts from those that went to Griffin Park last night. The win moves Wolves up to 18th in the table, gives them some much needed breathing room. They're four points ahead of the bottom three. Uh, they've still got a game in hand on everyone, like I said, bar, bar, uh, bar Blackburn. And if they do win that game in hand, which unfortunately isn't for a while away, at home to Huddersfield, um, mm. they'd even go up with Blues and Ipswich in the table up to 16th. So they're dragging another couple of teams into it at the moment. So things after seven points in three games suddenly looking uh, a lot better for Paul Lambert's team. Um, obviously quite a quiet day today, the day after the, the game, uh, a couple of bits and bobs. Jack Ruddy has been called up to the Scotland Under-21 squad for the first time, all signing from Berry in the summer and he's been doing really well for the Under-23s. So yeah, he's been named in the Scotland Under-21 squad. And Conor Ronan, who of course impressed so much when he made his brief uh, break into the first team recently before picking up an injury, he's been nominated for the Ireland Under-19 Player of the Year Award. Uh, he won the Under-17 Player of the Year Award last season, so good luck to him when that's announced in a few weeks' time. Attention will now switch to Saturday's game at Fulham. Um, we also taking 2,100 fans at least to Craven Cottage, expect a few more tickets to go in the next few days as well. Uh, and we spoke to Danny Bart about that game last, after last night's game, you can read all about that in tomorrow's Express and Star.